uh, just landing my hands and my punch a lot. I think at the FCS level, just being a bigger guy, you can control guys, let guys into your chest a little bit more. So in the NFL, I got to work on my punch and uh, just working on every single time I get those little victories where I land my punch, uh, get the timing of the punch down. Though, uh, that's something I look forward to and I count on. So. I know you work with Joe Steele. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Working with Joe, I mean, he's got the same style of offense uh, as we do and uh, that they had in San Francisco. So just uh, being able to learn the foot quickness and the hand speed and him just being such a great player, a 13-year vet, probably future Hall of Famer, uh, just being able to learn from him was huge. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It was fun. Like you said, I only played in two games in like the past two years. So just anytime I get to be out on that football uh, field, that counts as a blessing. Then being able to uh, be on an NFL football field, uh, that was a huge blessing. So uh, yeah, like you said, as the game went on, definitely got more comfortable. Eventually, I'm sure you'd like to settle into one position. They probably like you to settle into one position. But how much is learning three or four spots helping you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it helps me so much. Helps me with speed of the game, just learning the nuances of the in, uh, interior offense line in the NFL and exterior and stuff like that. And then, uh, uh, yeah, just being able to settle into position in the future uh, will be huge for just me honing in my skills. So. Uh, yeah, maybe right away. Um, like right when I first got to training camp or OTAs, you know, bolts are flying. Never been in your uh, unfamiliar territory, but right now I feel pretty comfortable moving positions from play to play. So. Oh yeah, for sure. We're talking to him all the time. I mean, I sit right in front of Taylor and Roger in meetings and every single play, Roger uh, will lean over, give me tips and tricks here and there. And then even when we're in the sauna or the tubs or something, I'm just always picking their brain, asking them how they move their hands, how they move their feet, what they're thinking when they're going into the block. So yeah, it's huge that we have these vets. I mean, Roger's going into year 12, Ben's going into year 10, Taylor's been an all pro however many years. So uh, just being able to pick their brains is awesome. Yep. Uh, yeah, everything happens a little bit faster. You don't have two kicks to get your hands up and stuff, so i got to get my hands up quicker. And then uh, the guys are obviously a little bit bigger, so uh, in the run game, just making sure my pad level's down, stuff like that. So uh, uh, just those things, getting used to those, uh, it's been good, though. jump from North Dakota State to the NFL bigger maybe than what you initially thought it was, about, about what you expected or what? Uh, it's about what I expected. Only reason is because I've been around so many guys. Like you said, like we said earlier, I trained with Joe Staley, and he was giving me tips and tricks. And, yeah, it was, there was a jump to make for sure. Everything happens a lot faster in the NFL. But uh, ultimately, I feel like I'm making that jump well, and I'm just progressing along as we go.